My name's Ed Seaton, um, managing 280 cows here, averaging 11,500 milk sold. Um, carving interval of 385 days. Uh, we run of a preg rate, an average of around 21%. We've been using the Farm Wizard um, recording system for the last two years. Um, I find it really helpful, with, especially with the app on the phone. Um, it's a one input system, so you can put input everything through your phone if you want. Um, you can also do it through your desktop. Um, I do most things through the phone now, heat information, um, all AIs get put on the phone. Um, sold cows, sold calves get put on there. Um, you can put carvings on there, all on one, on the basic app on the phone. Um, which we find really useful. It's also really useful when you're wandering around through the cows or through the barns at night, you've got all the information to hand. Um, everything you need to know about that cow is in, on your phone on that app. The good thing about the Farm Wizard app is you don't have to have internet connection everywhere. So if you're in the barn and you lose connection, it doesn't matter. Everything's on, um, on the phone because it's a cloud-based system. So, um, you know, only when you synchronize and, um, do you need the, the internet. You can use it anywhere in the world really. It is handy if you're away and uh, you need to know something. It's also always live so it's always getting updated um, which is really helpful and you can never lose that system because it's on the cloud, it's a cloud based system. Vet list I find really handy, the action list tells you what's um, due to be served, tells you what's due to carve, all on one page so that's a real um, good screen to look at and just a quick overview. Of everything. If you want to see the milk records of any individual cow, you can um, basically just put the cow's number and get a cow card for every cow is on there. So um, this is a cow card for cow number 41. Um, she's due to calve um, on the 22nd of March. Her milk records are all on there from last lactation. And it gives you all the details on what she's got. This is what she's given the last two times and the cell counts are there as well um, for the whole last lactation. What is good about this app is it'll give you the cell count of the last 10 recordings, which will all be on there. So with us using selective dry cow therapy now, we can look at her and say, yes, yeah, she's fine without any antibiotics. Uh, we'd like to look at the last 10. If, it would, if there was one in there that would be, you know, say over 250, then it would raise, you know, a question whether there's, you know, she'd need antibiotics. So, um, you know, this app is great when you're out there and making decisions like that. Uh, this is quite a good new thing. There's a breakdown of the whole herd. In this pie chart here, so we, you know we can see what a percentage of the herd's dry, uh, percentage what we're um, we're not breeding, um, what's milking, what's pregnant. Um, so that's a good overview of the herd. You can go into uh, reports. You know a report I use a lot is the um, every week is the vet vet visit report. Um, every Tuesday we have the weekly vet routine. So. Um, that's what I use the desktop for. But that's all I use the desktop for. Really, is the reports, all the inputting is done on the phone, basically. Because it's cloud-based, uh, we do get them updates all the time. Um, so there's something new. A good thing that I think would be on the home screen now is that we have the, our KPIs on there, so they're there all the time for us to view. Um, like our average calving um, interval, our pregnancy rate and conception rate. Um, I think would be good on the home screen. But, you know, we're suggesting things like that all the time, so hopefully that will get done and um, we'll, we'll have access to that without having to um, pay any more for it.